began treating Lake Hartwell today in the hopes that it'll make the water taste and smell better. WYFF News 4's Mandy Gaither is live and local in our Anderson newsroom. And Mandy, is the new treatment safe? Well, Nigel, the treatment is being headed up by Dr. John Rogers of Clemson University. He says there's, quote, a huge margin of safety for people. He says he's treated water in several other states this way with high levels of success. Now, today, boats started applying the copper and hydrogen peroxide based algaecide to Lake Hartwell around the water intake area. They're focusing only on areas of the lake where the algae that's causing the bad smell and taste is located. Officials with the Anderson Regional Joint Water system say if this new treatment works, the plant will have better water within a week. How long it will take to see relief at homes will depend on how far away you live from the plant. Now, a lot of viewers are still using bottled water and they have asked whether they are going to get a break on their bills. I asked that question today to Scott Willette. He's the executive director of the Joint Water System, and here is what he had to say. I think I think the short answer is, is no. There's not any. Uh, number one, the joint water system has no direct customers. We are we are a wholesaler. We supply to the to member agencies. But do you get money to supply the member to the member company? the water that we the the money that's generated by the joint water system. The joint water system is a nonprofit. Uh, there's no profit. There's no there's no kitty. Effectively, we operate on a cost allocation basis. Uh, on any given year, we collect only enough money to operate that year. Now, Willette also said that the customers who are buying bottled water are not buying theirs because they're not consuming it, and he says and insists that the drinking water meets all safe drinking water standards. The water, as we've said, has been safe at all times. Right, but uh, the water, as, as you probably know, uh, has at times been brown. It's been, it smelled not good. It's tastes not good. So, I mean, do you blame customers for not wanting to drink I, that? I, I don't blame a customer for any choice they make, um, regardless of what that choice may be. Whether Even when we're in 100%, uh, uh, when the water is perfect in every way, there's still a, a portion of the customers who make other choices. Now, one of the customers came to the news conference with a two-month-old filter from his house that was fully brown. He says that he was told to keep in contact with crews so they can see how their system is working. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 Live in the Anderson Newsroom. Mandy.